you've ever been in the Nine Mile Canyon or any of the other rock art that Utah is so famous for. Part of that rock art was not just that we didn't have written languages. There are stories that say we chose not to have written languages. Because we saw that if there is a written language, the people who can write and read have more power than the people who can't. It's a way of communication across boundaries. To start with the design, we decided to come up with one central theme that kind of helped guide the rest of the imagery. Uh, we have a lot of different ideas, but we didn't want we didn't want them all to compete and kind of fight for their own space. Otherwise, it'd just be it'd be clutter, it'd be kind of this visual mess. And so we we had students talk about different themes that they were inspired by. The one we kind of settled on was past, present, and future. Just thinking about all the different aspects that, that incorporates. And they listed off things they associate with that, whether it be imagery, colors, feelings, moods. And just as the students started talking about it, we kind of started formulating these ideas. We started to see this common thread. And we had one girl in particular, she brought forth an image of a girl sleeping, thinking that that was, because we wanted to represent everybody in the school, but we didn't want to have the stereotypical clicks. Actually, when I was doing the thumbnail for it, I didn't intend for it to be part of the mural. I just did it to do it. <laughs> So what we did, a girl sleeping because people need to sleep and then she's also studying with books and piles of paper around her desk. You can see at the very end of the image we have Dovey, the storyteller. She was kind of crucial to that first discussion of past, present, future. Um, but as we, we got going on, as we had all these ideas, it started to form into this new, this new image. The idea kind of came with the story with the book underneath and then the rock, rock art and then maybe her reading something to do with rock art and then in her dream behind her having like the Northern Lights from Brother Bear almost, them coming alive along it, yeah. And so then using that we decided to use that kind of as our main, our main goal, seeing as the present was a little more I don't know, important to these guys and then we just tied in the past, present, future in different ways into the background. Were they trying to leave a message for us? Or were they just talking to each other? Or was it just one person who had something to say to themselves? Since the, this, is, this piece is our reaction from going to Nine Mile Canyon and seeing their artwork, we didn't want it to be just like copied everything that they did. Sure. So sure. some people were more for like like this is our interpretation, veering away from exact images that we saw, sure. but some of us still wanted to include those images. So we went over them with the lights so that they would still be contained within the piece instead of individual pieces on their own. It was cool. Like I. Did. I never realized how close Native American art or artifacts are um, to where I live. I think the process of working together on this, uh, sharing ideas, um, having to come up with something that, that they can all be part of and feel like they're not just doing what somebody else has told them to do, I, th I think it's, it's been great for them. It has, it has helped them to bond. Well, I thought it was just having it like be like rainbows, like Roy G. Biv. So then I started with red and have it like transcend to green. Then I kind of like thought maybe like when it gets closer to the northern lights, it gets more green. Then when it goes past green, it went blue at the top. I guess in a way it kind of helps me to socialize more. And especially with the fact that I'm normally shy. And yeah, so it's fun to have a, another way to go about doing that.
these kids get to have the opportunity to have something up in front of the entire school uh, that they can be proud of, that they can show off, feel like they're a little more connected with the school. I think it's, it's an opportunity for the students who are viewing it to, to connect with art that's a little more personal, to be aware that we're creating in this school, that there's good things going on here, that students have a voice and they can go from start to finish, generate that, that idea to begin with and see it through to fruition and, and end up with a piece that they're really proud of. I'm thrilled about it.